Hello world, Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor with another short screencast about access. And this time we're going to talk about subdata sheets. When I open up a new database, I typically like to just see what kinds of data the customer is storing. And if I open up the customer's table, I'll run through the fields, pressing tab or enter to see what kinds of data they're storing. And then I'll always keep my eyes on the navigation bar to see how many records are in the table. And I'll pretty much go through all the tables and see what's being stored in this database. And the one thing I'm not seeing are the expand buttons to see sub data sheets. And that's a little bit of a red flag because the expand buttons in the table on a one side of a one to many relationship should have those expand buttons so that we can see the related records in the child table or the many table. So I'm going to close these tables and look at the relationships, database tools, relationships. And indeed, in the Northwind database, the sample database that Microsoft provides, there are one-to-many relationships between these tables with referential integrity enforced. And I can see that because of the one and infinity signs on the link line. So one employee can have many orders, one order can have many order details, and one product can be listed on many order details records. So I'm going to close this down and show you how to add those expand buttons to see the sub data sheet records on each table. We know that one order can have many order details. So if I go into design view of the orders table and open up the property sheet for the entire table, one of the properties is sub data sheet name. And right now that's at none. So I'm going to go ahead and select the order details table, close the property sheet, save the table, look at it in data sheet view, and now I see these wonderful expand buttons that show me the detail records from the order details table that belong to that order. The order 12 has three items on it. Now we know also that there must be a common field between the tables to connect those tables, but we don't see the order ID field anywhere here in the sub data sheet. By default, it's closed, but let's go ahead and unhide it just to prove that one order ID 12 is related to three different order detail records here in the order details table with a common piece of information, the order ID field. I'm going to close the orders table down, save changes. Let's do the same thing with the products table. First of all, let's look at it in data sheet view. I see all the records, but I do not see any order details that these products are linked to. I'm going to right click, go into design view, open up the property sheet for the table, go into the sub data sheet name, and we know that one product can be listed on many order details. So again, it is apparent to the order details table. I'm going to close, save, look at this in data sheet view. And now for any particular product, we can expand and see how many different orders that coffee was ordered on. So I really enjoy these sub data sheets. Not that I'm working in table data sheet view a lot, but it's great to open up that table data sheet, see how many records there are, click the expand buttons, see what records are related to. And you do this with the table property sheet and the sub data sheet name property. Let's do it one more time with the customers table. We know that one customer can have many orders based on our relationships. Design view, open up the table property sheet, go into the sub data sheet name property, choose the orders table. And here's an interesting thing. Notice that the link child fields and link master fields properties were automatically filled in with the common field that links those two tables. So the customer ID is the primary key field in the customers table and the foreign key field in the orders table. And that's what automatically got filled in here for me when I chose the orders table as the sub data sheet. Save, look at this in data sheet view. We can see the orders for any particular customer. And even for each order, I can see the order details for that order because I have these expand and collapse buttons that show the sub data sheet. Thank you.